Hi, it's Kenny here with Century 21 Prosenko Group. Today we are in Reddit, in the Toronto Real Estate subreddit, subform, to answer questions from people interested in real estate. So the question from Eden Bound asked is, advice needed, is it normal to pay a huge upfront cost then to have it adjusted after? Short answer is no. Okay, and here's the long answer. So uh, this person who's bought a home has said that they're, they're, so they're their buyer and their own lawyer has told them that the seller's lawyer has asked the buyer, the, the, the original poster here, to wire $10,000 to the seller's lawyer to cover any closing costs. And the buyer is remarking that this seems extremely high, especially for the house, which is only about 400K and annual taxes of 2000. And the fact that they're first time home buyer. So I completely agree. It, to me, either there's a huge miscommunication between the two lawyers and then the buyer's lawyer on the buyer, or one or both of the lawyers are kind of negligent in this regard. So the reason I say that is because typically in a real estate transaction, the two lawyers, the buyer lawyer and the seller lawyer, communicate to each other the amount that's due through something called a statement of adjustments. So while the house has a certain amount of money, someone has uh, the buyer has probably already paid a deposit, which means there's a remainder of the down payment that is due on closing. But there's also potentially other adjustments that need to be made. For example, the seller may have already prepaid a whole year's worth of taxes, in which case the buyer needs to reimburse the seller for the remainder for the rest of the year after the buyer takes over. Otherwise, the seller would be, have overpaid their taxes. Uh, the same thing can apply to maybe prepaid utility bills or even prepaid condo fees. Um, the next thing is obviously statement adjustments would include any uh, home buyer rebates, like land transfer tax rebates for first time home buyers. So when you kind of consider all these things, $10,000 actually seems like a lot. And based on what this poster has posted, there actually does not ex yet exist a statement of adjustments. The next thing and the most sketchy thing to me about this is that the, according to the original poster, the seller's lawyer wants the buyer to wire the money directly to the seller's lawyer. This is really not how things are done in real estate. The only check typically that a buyer writes is a bank draft um, that is written to their own lawyer's in trust bank account. The buyer never sends money directly to the seller's lawyer or the seller unless the seller lawyer and the buyer lawyer happen to be the exact same lawyer for the deal. So vast majority of the time, buyers and sellers have their own lawyer and buyers do not deal with the seller's bank account and don't deal with the seller's lawyer's bank account. They only send money to their own buyer's lawyer in trust bank account. So that is enough to make me very sketched out. So I posted to this person to double check and don't send any money unless they have a statement of adjustments and only send money to the buyer's lawyer. All right which is their own lawyer, which is supposed to protect them, by the way. If you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully this helps. Bye.